Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today we're taking a look at Soccer Tactics World Edition, a fun soccer game for moms and dads, kids, and friends. So it's ages seven and up, plays only two players. Uh, you decide how long the game is, because it comes with a timer. You can play 45 minute halves or, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, nice look at the board here, how everything is set up on there. There's different color teams available if you want to get those. Uh, a bunch of languages uh, included, a list of what's uh, included here. So this game is from 2006, although this is the multilingual multi edition from 2007. Um, and you can see it's not in shrink, but when I traded for this recently, I was happy to see that everything inside was brand new. So I thought I'd uh, show you guys what's in here. All right, so there's the rules. Um, right, showing you how to set up uh, and how to play, how to do kickoffs and how things, pawns move and the ball moves and normal play, capturing, scoring, the goalkeeper offside, fouls, free kicks, time limit, end of the game. So there's all of that in English and then if you flip it over, there's all of that as well in Spanish. Uh, so that's nice. There's also just a short rule. So uh, you know, a quick description of how to play the game. So that comes in English and Spanish and Italian and Turkish. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure the German rules are out there too since the game was originally German, uh, as I mentioned. So let's take a look here. What do we got? We got a board, which is nice. Nice big board for a soccer field. Um, so it shows here, um, you got the penalty area marked off and these star spaces, that's where you can shoot from. There's a spinner that you can put in the middle of the field for when you're shooting, but you don't have to use the spinner. There's a die included, places for the yellow and red cards to go. Um, and this you have to assemble. This is how you keep track of your uh, score. So let's see what else was in here. Uh, a trophy. Look at this nice trophy here. This is completely unnecessary. This is just, you get this for winning. <laughs> it's not really a necessary game component, but it's still pretty cool. Um, all right. Let's see. So what do we have in here? We have, uh, those are the spinners. So it comes with uh, two spinners. Um, so you can put these, you can put one of these in the middle of the board to spin here if you want, and then there's a, a second piece in case it gets damaged. Uh, each player gets a die for when they're passing or moving their players around. And this is what I was talking about before, that instead of the spinner, if you want uh, to see if you score, you can roll uh, this die. Now notice this is a d6, where that's a eight-sided spinner. So uh, you still have the same odds of scoring a goal, 50% chance, uh, but your odds of getting a corner uh, versus uh, a goal kick. Um, so the goal kick is higher here versus here. So it does change the game a little bit to use that versus the other. What do we got here? Maybe this is the timer. So I mentioned you decide how long you want the game to be uh, by timing each half, and it comes with a, an electronic timer to do that. Um, I don't know if I have to pull something out to uh, enable the battery to start working or not. Uh, like I said, this game is, <laughs> you know, pretty old. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I'll have to replace that battery or something there. But anyway, uh, electronic timer. Of course, you just use your phone or something if you wanted to. No big deal there. Let's take a look at the pawns that go out on the board. Uh, so each team gets the same stuff. You do get 11 pawns to represent the 11 players. Uh, there's also the soccer ball, which you kick around, which is this nice wooden uh, piece. Uh, each team gets four of these defender pawns, which stay in the defensive side, and they're just sort of nondescript pawns. But each team also gets a goalie, which is a bigger piece. Uh, and then you get a bunch of these outfield uh, players who sort of play in the other team's half trying to score goals. So you can see that uh, the goalie is bigger than those other pieces. All right, what else have we got here in the box? 
All right, so it wouldn't be soccer unless you could get a yellow or a red card. So that's what we have here. Uh, along with, so this is what I mentioned, these get uh, assembled in here and you keep track of your score uh, with those. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these, I guess, one of these little pens to attach it there. Um, and then there's, uh, you only need two of those, but there's three, so that's nice. And then there's a bunch of these yellow and red cards. So this is actually, you know, pretty thick cardboard, uh, nice. You know, so if somebody's misbehaving, goalie, yellow card. Okay. Anyway, and then you put it uh, in the space for that, and then they can even get red cards and get thrown out of the game. Uh, but anyway, those are uh, the components. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this uh, with my kid, and I'll let you know what we think about it. Thanks.